U.S. history was made along these banks of the Delaware River in 1776. Tonight, Trenton has the best seats in the house for a piece of kickboxing history at Glory 33, New Jersey. Tonight, featuring a four-man featherweight contender tournament and five rounds for the Glory Heavyweight Championship of the World. All of our bouts tonight sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. Their commissioner, Larry Hazard Sr., and their counsel, Nick Limbo, are with us ringside. From inside the Sun National Bank Center in New Jersey, it's time for glory! We begin with the first of two tournament semifinals. This hard-nosed Eurasian warrior has been tearing up the world's featherweight ranks. He is Giga Chikadze. So we are set for the first of our two semifinal matchups in the Glory Featherweight Contender Tournament. The winner of this one night tourney has to uh, win two fights in one night for a shot at the Glory Featherweight Championship currently held by Gabriel Varga. Here comes the number seven ranked Giga Chikadze, originally from the Republic of Georgia, but now resides in Huntington Beach, California, where he trains with Master Rafael Cordero and an all-star lineup at King's MMA. And this guy is entertainment personified. Oh, he's very fun to watch. He's very technical, very fast, and very explosive. And you're going to see him mixing in a lot of spectacular kicks. He's got good spinning kicks. You'll see him throw axe kicks, rolling thunder kicks. He just is very experienced. And you know, he brings a lot of fun and action into the ring, but he needs to stay very tight and technical against Sergei Adamchuk. UFC veteran Benil Dariush in his corner. He will face former featherweight champion Sergei Adamchuk. Tough test. Very uh, interesting opening semifinal bout, but uh, Chikadze told us that he's confident not only of beating the tricky Ukrainian, but also of stopping him in the process. That's a pretty bold claim of Mr. Valtellini. Yeah, is coming off some big wins. He's, you know, he has a, a win over Kevin Van Nostrand, a win over Chris Massieri. So he needs to, you know, really show, and he really wants a chance at that title. He really has to put on his best performance tonight, and this fight could easily be the tournament finals. Chikadze riding a two-fight win streak. Adam Juk coming off the loss to Varga to relinquish the belt to the man he defeated for the title. So a potential for a trilogy fight should Adam Juk prevail in the tournament. But like you mentioned, I mean, these two, Adam Juk and Chikadze, nothing against our other semifinal matchup, but in many ways, this could very well have been the final, but they have to uh, battle each other for a chance to go to the final tonight. Well, that could be an advantage for both of these guys. Get the harder fight out of the way. But again, you can't look at, you know, Chi Bin Lim and Matt Embry as an easy fight Not either. Not at all. So Chikadze been working on his boxing, has been sparring a lot with Southpaws since he will face the lefty and Adam Juke. Loves the tournament format, by the way. Competed in a lot of tourneys as a Karnataka in his native Republic of Georgia. Lost his mom to cancer, and tonight stand up to cancer as all the networks are getting involved to support the, uh, the cause. And uh, he actually formed a charity in honor of his mom, knockout cancer, collecting money from different events and from his fight purses. Last year, he helped, well, 30 people get better with the big C, so hats off to Chikadze. His loss of the featherweight belt has only strengthened his resolve as one of the world's elite featherweights. Here comes Sergei Adamchuk. Sergei Adamchuk at 26 years of age coming off the disappointing loss against Gabriel Varga at Glory 32. He was, uh, well, not aggressive enough, I think was, uh, the common, uh, common references talking to other pundits about that performance uh, and, and that clinch work. I mean, he and Varga, you would think two of the most technically gifted fighters would, would make for a masterpiece. It wasn't always pretty. No, it was a very close fight, and it was actually a knockdown in the second round. Uh, 
which really was the deciding factor in that fight. So, but Gabriel Varga is a, uh, a very tough fighter to fight with that long range, but Sergei Adamtuch did, uh, did a great job at going in there and throwing, but he's got another tough challenge in Giga Chikadze. Yeah, that loss snapped Adam Chuk's six fight winning streak. First loss in a glory ring, now five and one as we go to the tail of the take for our first semifinal match in the glory featherweight contender tournament. You have Giga Chikadze being two years older and has a height advantage of three and a half inches. And that's gonna be the big difference in this fight is Giga Chikadze using that height and reach advantage to keep Adam Chuk away. Looking at the professional fight, they both have 39 fights, both with a high win percentage. But what really stands out is the high level um, title uh, fights of Serhei Adamchuk fighting the highest names in the division, where Chikase has yet to fight the bigger names in the featherweight division. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this featherweight contender tournament semifinal is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a full contact karate black belt and two-time world champion. His professional record, 35 wins with just four losses, 21 big wins by knockout. Standing six feet even, 1.85 meters, he weighed in at an even 143 pounds, 64.9 kilos. Fighting at him to Blisi, Georgia. Introducing Giga Chikadze. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a former glory featherweight champion, trained in Muay Thai and Russian Sambo. His record, 33 wins with six losses, 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing five feet, eight and a half inches, 1.74 meters, he weighed in at 143 pounds, 64.9 kilos. Fighting out of Ukraine by way of the Netherlands, here is Serhi Adamchuk. And your referee for this contest, Justin Greskovitz. You're about to see the best stand-up strikers on the planet. Glory Kickboxing, the world's premier kickboxing organization, bringing you what promises to be an evening of fistic fireworks. And what a way to begin the proceedings. Former Glory featherweight champion, Sere Adamchuk, against Giga Chikatse. The winner advances to the final later tonight, the victor of the one-man or one-night four-man featherweight contender tournament gets a shot at the 145-pound title. Chikatse in the black gloves, Adam Chuk in the white, and they both realize that the quicker they can get this fight over with, the more chance they have to recover and prepare for the fight. Giga Chikatse has the ability to fight as an orthodox in southpaw, but he seems to be staying in orthodox and throwing that body kick. But Adam Chuk continues to return. Adam Chuk, a tricky southpaw, who again has really opened up a lot of eyes. In fact, his glory debut took a fight on short notice at lightweight, defeated the highly regarded Marat Gregorian literally on 24 hours notice. I was there in Lille, France at Glory 22, and he won every fight since then, including a victory over Gabriel Varga for the featherweight crown before. Losing the title to Vargan, another close encounter at Glory 32 this past July. He's a very intelligent fighter and very good footwork and distance oh. control. And Chikadze switching stances. Yeah, Chikadze is very, very tricky. By constantly switching stances, it messes up the timing and the distance of, of Adam Chuk. And Chikadze also made a short notice debut. He took a fight on six days notice to face Kenny Tran of Canada at Glory 21 San Diego. And uh, he just put on a kicking clinic in that one. Yeah, he's got a few left kick finishes. And wow, that deep. one was a brutal one to the body and one of the best stoppages in glory yeah. history. Which he's calling oh. the, the giga kick. The giga kick, and now there you, you see some of the kicking prowess of Chikadze. Yeah, Chikadze brings a mix between a Dutch kickboxing style and a karate background. The sniper, Adam Juk, fired off the straight left that connected on the head. As a southpaw, that's going to be a very good shot for Adam Chuk. A minute left in the, the first frame. 
get in glory, prioritize scoring criteria. Number one, the number of knockdowns in a round. Two, damage. Three, effective striking, and then the level of aggression. And uh, both fighters beginning this semifinal matchup aggressively. Both have had success in the opening round. They're both using that outside kick, but I think Chikaze is being a little bit more active with his punches. Good counter right hand upstairs by Chikaze. Under 30 seconds left in the first. Chikaze blocking that left high kick by Adam Chuk, faints the knee. Axe kick attempt there by Giga Chikaze, always reminding us of the late great Andy Hu. Oh, one of my favorites to watch. Ten seconds, boys. So a terrific start stop, 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 to the stop, 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 stop. featherweight Fight. contender tournament. Oh! Shikadze is dynamic, to say the least. Yeah, he's already thrown axe kicks, spinning kicks, rolling thunder kicks. So it makes him very exciting to watch. There's that rolling thunder kick that you know, he's got to be careful, though. In, in some of his earlier fights, and, and I think it was against Boy Nazarov, um, he was throwing them very, um, throwing them a lot, and he kind of got exhausted. But again, that could have been from his 40-pound weight cut that he did. And also, from with uppercut, when he uh, outside over. Tell you a little bit more about these inside. individuals. Sergei Adamchuk trains at the venerable Mike's gym in Amsterdam under Big Mike Pesanya, who, of course, also trains the likes of Badr Hari. And, of course, Badr Hari now signed for a big fight coming up in December. Uh, Chikadze under the tutelage of Master Rafael Cordero in that shooter box style of Muay Thai. Very aggressive as round two begins here in Trenton, New Jersey. Glory 33, the one-night four-man Featherweight contender tournament, and again, Chikadze from the orthodox stance fires that right kick to the ribs and scores again. And you can see the toll those kicks are already taking on the body of Adam Juk as he backed Chikadze up. Both of them have some red marks on that um, on their body uh, from the body kicks, but Adam Juk's looking a lot more red and bruised. High level kickboxing on display. Two master technicians, and it's just a high speed high-impact game of human chess. It's beautiful. These guys have good distance control, good footwork. And again, north-south fights like this are very tough to most people, but these guys are doing a great job at using their power weapons. Adam Chuk with the edge in, and kicks landed. Adam Chuk gave him a little smirk there. Oh, right uppercut followed by the body kick by Chikadze. Well-timed by the Georgian native, although that right jab stung Chikadze on the beard. And so far, both of them attacking the body like it was filled with candy, Joe, and uh, that's a, a very prudent strategy. Yeah, again, from that north-south position, it's the power side. So it's the left side of Adam Chuk and the right kick of Chikadze that are doing the most damage. Oh, inside low kick, Chikadze tried to actually jump over it instead of just checking it. There's a lot of single attacks happening. I'd like to see these guys put a little bit more combinations together. Man, they've already absorbed a lot of damage and remember the victor will have to fight one more time tonight standing by waiting in the wings matt Embry of canada making his glory debut against south korea's chibin lim right hand left hook by chikadze backs adam chuk up but adam chuk clinches and slows Chikadze's momentum. 45 that's, left in the round. That's what makes Adam Chuk very difficult. Because of his distance control, he can kind of move in, move his head, use his footwork, and he's very difficult to hit. Not a volume striker by any means, Adam Chuk, but he picks and chooses his shots carefully. And a lot of guys in a tournament format usually choose in the first fight to use their boxing. They want to shave their, save their shins a little bit. But these guys are doing the opposite. They're throwing a lot more kicks than punches. And spinning hook kick there misses by Chikadze attempting the jumping knee, but Adam Chuk was on his way in. Final 10 seconds of the second round. And it remains 
a highly competitive affair between Adam Chuk and Chikadze. See the, the bruising really adding up from that right kick of Chikadze. Just perfectly placed, just under the left elbow of Adam Chuk. And again, that's a good placement in that north south using that power kick. And that damage is really starting to build up. Makes the first punch, go for the second and the third punch. Oh, he saw Chikatsi attempt a rolling thunder kick at the end of round one. In that second round, he brought the thunderous kicks to Adam Chuk's body. But it remains a very close contest, and it very well could come down to what we see transpire in these final three minutes. Well, this is a very, again, like, going to be a tough fight to score, but I think it could be the activity of Giga that could be the difference. And he continues to lay in those kicks to the body of Adam Chuk. Adam Chuk doing a good job of avoiding that one and comes back with a left knee of his own, but misses with the right over the top. And as he said, the second scoring criteria is cumulative damage, and you got to think the referees are looking at that bruising of uh, Adam Chuk. Adam Chuk has the advantage when it comes to leg kicks landed, and we've, you know, talked about that, Joseph, what means more. And wow! A little bit of a rustling on the part of Adam Chuk and Chikadze. Maybe hoping for a spot at WWE Backlash on Sunday from Richmond, Virginia. <coughs> One minute gone in the third and final round. Oh, that left kick! Partially blocked by Chikadze, and then Adam Chuk finds himself on the canvas, ruled a push. That's a good setup. You're constantly attacking the body and the arms, and then take that kick high. Crowd into this opening contest of the night at Glory 33, and you are seeing two of the very best in the featherweight division, the former champion, Sergei Adam Chuk in the white gloves, and Kiga Chikadze in the black gloves and Chikadze continues to showcase diversity in his attack. Yeah, he keeps making up, mixing up punches and kicks, but in this third round, Serhei's being a little bit more active with his boxing. Big Mike probably told him to be a little bit more active and put combinations together. And he's successful with the straight left down the middle, both upstairs and downstairs, avoiding that right kick and... But I need to see, I would like to see Adam Chuk throw that kick after those punches. Chikase's legs are open after those punches. Final minute of the fight. Again, I think this third round, Adam Chuk's taking over. Chikase seems to be slowing down. And he eats that left hand, avoids the left knee, but both of them have taken a lot of strikes and kicks and punches, knees, you name it. You gotta think of how their shins are taking this. That's why it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the winner will fare moving ahead in the final. 30 seconds left now. I need to see Adam Chuk pick up the pace here. He needs to really dominate this last 20 seconds. Chikadze with the jab. Adam Chuk going downstairs. Body kick counter. Right hand upstairs by Adam Chuk. Final 10 seconds. Oh. Chikadze almost spinning himself out of the ring. Good stuff, and again with that rolling thunder, but what a way to start the featherweight contender tournament. It is up to the judges to determine who will advance. Sir Adam Duke, the former champion, or Giga Chikadze? We'll find out as Glory 33 continues. Back in the state capital of New Jersey, Trenton, where we await the official decision for the first of our two semifinals in the four-man featherweight contender tournament. And what a display of skills on the part of both Chikatse and Adam Chuk. Both of these guys showed a lot of technique and a lot of good heart and power shots. Both of these guys, again, using that left kick a lot and, that, uh, and the kicks to the body to open up attacks.
Giga Chikaze trying to throw those spectacular attacks, but they those didn't land, so you can't really count those as scoring techniques. And look how close it was. <laughs> Looking at the total punches, Chikaze was a little bit more active with his punches. And again, very similar with the kicks. This fight, Ladies. these guys threw a lot of kicks, and again, both very similar. But in my opinion, it was the activity of Chikaze that could have stolen the fight. A close encounter of the featherweight kind. Let's find out who advances. Here's the international voice of glory, Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. 29-28, Chikaze. 29-28, Adam Chuk. And 29-28 for your winner, who now advances to the tournament final, Giga Chikadze! Giga Chikadze has done it, just like the headphone jack on the iPhone 7, the former glory featherweight champion, Sergei Adamchuk, has been eliminated. Yeah, he's gonna have to find another way back to that title. But again, Giga Chikase needs to stay relaxed. He has one more fight tonight. And here are the updated brackets now as Giga Chikase will fight for the right to challenge for the Glory Featherweight Championship. He'll face the winner of Chi Bin Lim versus Matt Embry coming up later tonight.